What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, supposed to be on my way to regionals. Freaking overslept like a numbskull and feels bad, man. Uh, well, it's not really that big of a deal. I got another regional in um, North Carolina that's like two weeks from now. I'm definitely going to that. Now we'll be post-Invasion Vengeance. But anyways, boys, we have a new card to discuss. And this is a new Eidolon card coming out in Fusion Enforcers, revealed by the OCG Twitter. It's called Reckless Magic Circle. And when I saw that title, I actually thought it was a new Dark Magician card because I was like, oh, Magic Circle it must be a Dark Magician card. But then I saw the SPFE and I was like, wait, isn't that Fusion Enforcers? So it has to be some type of uh you know like fusion support and i was like dark magician isn't a fusion deck it's succeed based uh look at the cards from you know dark illusion and whatnot but no this is actually idolins getting a field spell and it's kind of weird because based on this card i am fairly certain guys that alistar is going to be the only main deck monster that idolins are going to get at least in fusion enforcers like for maybe a year down the line or something like that konami will give them more support but for the foreseeable future i'm pretty sure that alistar is going to be it and it's like damn dude you well and it's kind of weird because you really can't build a pure idolin deck because they only have you only have like summoning magic, you have this field spell, and then you have like Alistar. So it's like, what? you have to pretty much splash this uh, this engine, this archetype into other like decks and other archetypes. But anyways, let me go ahead and talk about the card. So it's called Reckless Magic Circle. It is a field spell, as I said earlier. Uh, effect, or you can only activate one Reckless Magic Circle per turn. Effect number one, when this card is activated, you can add one Alistar the Eidolon Summoner from your deck to your hand. So this does answer the question of, well, how the heck am I supposed to get the Alistar? Because, you know, he's a he's a freaking spellcaster. He's not really searchable. I mean, I guess you can get him from Monk, from like Summoner Monk from your deck or whatever. But for the most part, there's just not a lot of spellcaster searching going on. So this is a card that instantly gets him. But the fact that it only gets him and it doesn't say any other thing like if it would have said you know get one idolin monster i'd have been like oh so alistar is not going to be the only man it literally just gets alistar and that's it and i don't know man i might i think i have a problem with that guys what, what do you guys think about that I'll, I'll go over effect number two right now before we answer that question effect number two if you activate a card or effect that includes an effect that fusion summons a fusion monster that effect cannot be negated also your opponent cannot activate cards and effects when that monster is fusion summoned effect number two seems actually pretty damn dope it's it's kind of like a weird mix of super poly and like delta rose i say super poly because it kind of makes your fusion spells spell speed four as i like to call it when i when i say spell speed four i just mean that your opponent can't negate it your opponent like if you activate idolin summoning magic your opponent cannot use solemn warning they cannot use anything that would negate like a spell card like they couldn't use legendary six samurai shin because they can't negate the fusion summon uh the fusion summon effect or the effect that would fusion summon the monster it's also pretty cool because it gives your monster a bit of protection like um when your monster is summoned your opponent obviously cannot activate cards or effects so they can't use things like bottomless trap well that's where the whole delta rose thing comes in if the monster is actually summoned you can't really respond to the summon so like delta rose is kind of immune to like bottomless trap hole and to things like you know trap tricks uh well excuse me like time space trap hole uh the, you know cards of that sort so it gives your monster a bit of protection but i just look at this card and i don't know as nice as it is to search alistar are you really running a card just to search one monster and nothing else? And like, I tried to compare this. I'm making an unfair comparison, but I kind of made a, a comparison to something like Union Hanger. Um, and I was like, well, Union Hanger searches three monsters and not just one. So you get a little more value out of that. And that card is so important, uh, not just because of the instant search, but because, you know, the, the fact that it can, when you summon one of your A, Bs, and Cs, you get, you know, another piece that you don't have or whatever. And then those pieces can activate if they go to the graveyard but that could that field spell is so important to a lot of abc players that they're willing to play three terraforming to search the field spell like with this card i don't know it's just like if you get if you get alistar early in the duel 
doesn't this card just become dead? Like, how many would you run it? That I, I don't really understand this card. Like, I understand what it does, but I don't understand how many to run. Like, do you run three to make sure you get the Alistar, like, super early in the duel? Or do you just run one and then run, like, another field spell and then run, like, terraforming? Or do you just not run it at all? Because, again, if you draw Alistar and then you draw this card, it seems like this card would be kind of dead because two copies of Alistar is like, eh. You know, Alistar can already be added back to the hand when it's banished thanks to the summoning magic and the second effect getting the protection for the fusions is nice but i don't know it's not like the greatest thing ever you know only protects you from like traps like bottomless and stuff like that so let me know what you guys think of this card i think it's kind of disappointing that idolins are really only gonna have one main deck monster like alistar is everything to the deck and uh it's gonna well i'll say this it's going to push people's creativity to the max because you're you basically don't get any type of blueprint on how to build this deck it's, it's like konami says here's alistar here's summoning magic find a way to fucking build a deck around a whole bunch of attributes and i guess that's kind of where we're at because i've played a couple of um idolin decks and the deck is fun and when it gets rolling it's super good but i don't know you would kind of want a little more than just alistar i was hoping in fusion of forces they would get like three three monsters but I just don't think it's going to happen now because this only searches Alistar and nothing else in all the fusions except the big one. They all use Alistar and nothing else. So anyways, I'm done rambling on. Thank you guys for watching as always. Subscribe if you have not already.